It's a small structure located on the banks of a lake near downtown Barberville, but this old tiny church is getting a new beginning. WYMT's Haley Minogue reports on plans for an iconic Barberville sanctuary. They originally it meant for it to be a small little town or community, and as the park evolved into other, other directions, it never did actually originate there. Modeled after the 200-year-old original, the tiny church of Barberville is a symbol seen by many, but not thought of by many. We were really worried about vandalism. It's sitting over here in the park in the dark in the nighttime, hadn't been used in a long time. That's when the city council decided it was time to sell the church to the highest bidder, Scott Phipps. I look forward to um, being able to use it for uh, ministry and for, you know, I've got several several ideas. I know the kids are excited about it. Phipps runs several different faith-based programs in the area. He wants to move the church to his campgrounds where these programs are hosted and use it for baptisms and as a classroom. Several of the girls that we work with through a, through a faith-based rehab, they're very excited. about. But now they face a problem. How do you move a decades-old building? And we're hoping that my son's father-in-law, Richie Robertson, a Force Products, is going to be able to help us move this with one of his trucks. As they continue to iron out the plans. We're really blessed to uh, live in a good community that still uh, has, you know, has a great, that people that still believe in the Lord and, you know, realize that without him uh, we can't make it, but with him we can make it all the way. And look to the future. In Knox County, Haley Minogue, WYMT Mountain News. Phipps hopes that the women in his rehabilitation program will help him fix the church. He says it needs a new tin roof, some paint, and a good sound system.